The most important part of a BRDF shader is the specular section, and within that, the most important slider is the roughness. This is because this slider impacts how rough or glossy, how shiny or dull a material is, and this has a tremendous impact, arguably more impact than anything else, on how the material looks. Just moving the slider by a few decimal points can make a material's appearance change from plastic to wood or from steel to aluminum. Getting the value of the slider just right is key to getting a shader to look like the material it's supposed to be, plastic, skin, steel, leather, paint, and so on. This is where a problem comes in with the way Substance Painter outputs roughness maps. It gives you a map with the roughness values as a grayscale texture map. It's definitely advantageous to have the roughness values modulated with the texture map in order to get variation over the object surface, but the problem is that it also locks the values down. That is, the exact value is baked into the pixel value of the texture map, and this map replaces the slider. We thus lose artistic control in Maya. As a result, what looked good in Substance Painter does not look quite the same in Maya with Arnold because the way Arnold shades an object with a roughness of, say, 0 0.634 is not exactly the same way that Substance shades it with the same value. What we need to do instead is have a texture map that gives us the variation across the object surface while still allowing us to adjust the exact value of the roughness with sliders. We do this by generating a black and white mask for the roughness and remapping the black and white values to our roughness values. So we need to first convert the triple channel RGB into a single channel float using a luminance node. Next we run that through a remap value node and input that into the shader's roughness. With this, the output min and max sliders now function as two roughness sliders corresponding to where the black or white pixels are on the texture map. The next question becomes, how can we set this up in Substance Painter so we can output our black and white roughness mask and at the same time be able to adjust the roughness values to our liking inside of Substance? First thing I'm going to do is create a fill layer, turn everything off but the roughness, and then I can adjust the value. I'm going to set this one to be a rather dull roughness. Next I'll make another fill layer, again setting it only to roughness. And I'll set this one to be really shiny. Then I'll add a black mask. Then I'm going to add a fill into the mask. Go into my shelf where I've read in the same mask that I'm using in Maya. And just drag this over here so that now it's using the mask, just like I have in Maya, to give me two values. I can then come into here and tweak this value. And I've recreated in substance exactly what I'm doing in Maya. If we look here at this map in Maya and look at the same map using Alt left mouse button, we can see that it's using the same mask and using that mask to give me two editable roughness values. That way I can edit things in the same manner in both programs. And then when I'm done, what I want to do is rather than exporting out the textures, is I right click here and say export mask to file. That's if I'd hand painted this mask in Substance, that's how I would export it out. So in sum, with this workflow, we have a mask that gives us the variation on the specular roughness across the object's surface, while still allowing us to adjust the exact values of the roughness with two sliders, both in Substance Painter as well as in Maya.